forgive me. My family, it seems I have lived longer than I thought. Yeah, centuries gone. Oh, don't give me that look. I haven't always been such a grump. I loved people once. Humans, actually, like a fool. My wife, she was human when I was very, very young. I need to look around. I need to see, to feel. Join me. I insisted we make our house from gold. You've seen the other world. Our gold buildings last centuries compared to those on the surface. My wife, Ufa, she didn't understand. I was the first Mori she'd ever met, and I swept her off her feet. We were both so young, only 17. I built this house myself, saw both our children born here, and then I ran. This wasn't here. Our house was much smaller than this. Hmm. Small rooms, an addition, and children. I miss so much. Connor, my son, his favorite food was black elderberries. They grow fast and are invasive. So I tried to keep him from planting them near the house, but I couldn't stop it. Part of me didn't want to. And see, I was right. They're still all over the place. My daughter. She didn't understand keeping animals for food. We had a hen who laid eggs. But when she became too old, we slaughtered her in order to have a good meal. Alana was devastated. She made us do a burial for the chicken. I can't believe this is still here. I loved my family dearly, but I couldn't bear to see them pass. I left when my wife fell ill. I knew it meant the end of what we'd built. What I'd loved, I ran. Returned to the other world like a coward. I missed everything, but I never expected they would stay. I left a letter telling my children to return to their mother's family in the city. They were in their teens, old enough to make a new life for themselves there. They waited for me. I have lived long, too long, perhaps. Perhaps they did once, but I cannot imagine they continued to do so after I fled. The thought brings comfort, though. Thank you. Perhaps it is a lesson to keep those I care about close. And if I lack the strength to move past my own thoughts, perhaps they can help, with words, with purpose, or by simply listening. Thank you for coming here with me. It may have seemed dark, but it would have been worse had I never followed this route. Let us go. We're done here. Thank you for bringing me here. I feel like I can finally put them to rest. And now, I can focus on our future. This is... homey. <laughs> like the ruined tower. 
Uh, fence could use some work, though. Argus, long time. I got your bird. Oh, I'm surprised you came. Also, I wasn't sure you learned to read, so I drew pictures. I brought some friends. Hope that's all right. Looks like you don't have enough pigs to lay out a feast, though. There's a reason I have a trough and only a third of the pigs to eat at it. Oh, those weapons of yours, are they for show or do you know how to use them? Beasts are attacking my farm, killing my livestock, and I can't do a damn thing about it. <laughs> Should have trained with the sword, Argus. Farming only goes so far when wild animals are circling your home. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I tried to repair what I could, but it's a lost cause. Oh, if I could, but... These beasts are unlike anything I've ever seen. Every night pack of them descend on my farm, and they don't even eat the kills, they just seem to revel solely in the slaughter. Some of them are half man, half wolf, even use bows and rain a hail of arrows upon my roof. I, I fear to even watch out the window, lest a shaft pierce my eye. Please, if you could slay them and their leader, a giant beast. Wait, a giant beast? How giant? Massive! With fangs that could rip a man in two. Even one as big as you, I fear. Huh, well this could be interesting. After all, I've been spoiling for a fight. And a chance to flex. It'll come here. It always has. We merely have to wait for the sun to fall and they'll come. I'll take my tools and mend the fence where I can, but... Oh, it will not keep them out, I fear. <gasps> the beasts! They are upon us! Keep fighting! Their leader will show itself. This is child's play. Ugh! <laughs> 
Each one's bigger than the last. But this one looks biggest of all. Finally, a challenge. The giant wolf is slain! Ha! I knew we could triumph. That fight was a fight to rival a labor of Hercules himself. Our very own Nemean lion, brought low by my strength. Is it dead? The beast is slain! Oh, you may shower us with gratitude now. I am in your debt indeed. Oh, what coin I have, I'll happily give. Without you... I would have nothing left, not, not even my life. Let this be a lesson to you. Had you fought, you may have succeeded, even with such meager tools as those. I, I, I do have a blade, but it's lost its edge, m much like me, I suppose. Let us see it. I'll fetch the blade. Wait here. Here it is. It's rather worse for wear, I'm afraid. It's been in my family for generations. If you wish, it's yours. Perhaps a smith could make it serviceable again? I do. And wait, there is an inscription on the blade here. This blade was once bestowed as a gift to Ajax. <sighs> but... As I said, it's been in my family for some time. We are descendants of Tusa, you see. And that blade... Well, it was the very blade... Tusser's brother, Ajax, used to take his own life. I'll keep it close, but it will see no more of battle. Let Ajax's blood be the last it will spill. The prince will be thrilled that you're here. I wish I could say the same. Cheer up. You're far too young to be a grumpy wizard. I am a druid. Whatever, wizard. I hope that some time with Prince Lugade and Queen Escata will help you see why the true heir needs to return to the throne. Majestic, isn't it? The legends say those waters are the tears of an ancient princess who was unable to be with the man she loved. It's quite a youthful fantasy to entertain spending that kind of energy crying over someone you never even got to hold. Lady Caldu. Master Amigan. Where in Duart have you been? We took you for dead. You were... I've been our primary contact with the Druids in your absence. But the situation has worsened. Tarlok. We know. We were there for his coronation. That remains a sensitive subject. Especially with my son. I know, dear. I know. You only have to take these herbs for three more days. Then, your pain should subside. The herbs are what hurt. Feels like my stomach is collapsing. They'll minimize scarring. I don't care. Tarlok and Tiana are out stealing my country. Corruptions are wandering the hills, murdering my people. Tarlok has... Turn the people against us. You, from the beach. Tell me, have they turned against us? So they aren't intelligent enough to make their own decisions. They have to rely on an old, angry man to tell them what to think. 
I thought our people would be better than that. <laughs> people are rarely better than that. But they should be. We'll get them there. You've become a different person this past month. I'd like to think so. But you've been around me every day. Do you think I'm more capable? More adult? <sighs> From is a swift teacher. This was obviously not how I wanted things to happen. But I cannot deny that our excursion to Ireland has had a profound effect on me. Okay. How do I prove to our people that I can do this? The others are too busy looking for a scapegoat. You are free to focus on the true problem. The corruptions. There is a labyrinth on the other side of this hill. Just past the Druid's College. Near the werewolf camp. It was once a site of worship and contemplation. The corruptions have been gathering there in large numbers, slaughtering villagers, students, werewolves and druids alike. I can posture as much as I want, but I'm still recovering from my wounds, not just cosmetically. I would not be much service in battle. But you, you can fight in my name. Or at least help stop these corruptions from destroying my people. Even if you don't support my claim to the throne. Oh, take Calden with you. She's a skilled necromancer. It would be my honor. Rid it of their evil. For all our sakes. seals on the door. Magic is useless. Only the proper keys will open them. And without the keys... Looking for these? You probably heard there are some powerful corruptions in this area. I trapped the worst ones in this labyrinth. You trapped the corruptions in here? After the Druids' college failed for weeks? No biggie. Here, take this map. It's not finished, but we can use it to track our path th through the labyrinth. Name's Mal, by the way. Now shall we? Hold up. Corpse. Looks like the corruption's killed the poor bastard. Still has both his eyes too. The rictus ridden idiot. Because it means I get to choose which eye I tear from his skull and see through it. It's a gift I have. A lover's parting gift. Long story longer. I used to have both eyes. But thanks to a little magic from my Morian ex, I can still see a little out of my missing eye. Sort of. All I need to do is plop a corpse's eye in my gold-plated socket and I see their last moments. And they're not nearly as pretty as I am. All right, in you go. Let's see what small doom befell this village idiot. No, no, masters, please. There is, there is no need. Please. Why have you dragged me here? A sacrifice? To who? 
to what? May the druids protect me. May the druids... Oh, no. The druids are here. They are you. Ugh. I hate seeing peasants whine out their last moments. Sheep, all of them. No wonder the druids have been so useless. Looks like a bunch of them were taken by the corruption too, along with their leader, who from this idiot's perspective looks like a complete arsehole. <sighs> Fucking druids. Either they cause the problem or they are the problem. All right, keep your weapons out and leave any hesitations by the door. The only way we're saving the druids here is by the sword. If we can get to them. Also, keep an eye out for more bodies. The post-mortem moments could work to our advantage. I don't have a key to this one. The key's probably still in the labyrinth, though. The corruptions were guarding the chest for a reason. Master's got a key. Must be to that chest we had to leave behind earlier. 
Anyone for some backtracking? I want to see what's inside. Another asshole down. But it looks like he sacrificed one of his wannabe druid students first. Or killed him with a boring teaching monologue. And lucky us. This dead freshman here's got two good eyes. Wide, naive ones by the look of them. Eeny, meeny, miny. <gasps> Master, what if the corruption proves too much? If it should be stronger than our magic, then... Forgive me, Master. You are the High Druid. I am but a student. I am here to listen, not to speak. Not to speak. Master? Master? Your skin? Your eyes? They... Forgot. Forgot. How intimidating teachers can be. And this teacher... This one's gone and done something very, very stupid. Looks like the High Druid thought he could tame the corruption. Study it. Tame it. Guess how that ended. You should have left school, kid. The only worthwhile thing the Druids had to teach you was what not to do.
We did it! <laughs> I haven't killed that many druids in... Well, ever. This is a first for me. Let's check the bodies, see what we can find. Holy shit. A werewolf. Nobody move. This gold eye socket isn't my only gift. <laughs> the hell did you just say to me? I'll break your snout, you little shit. Of course. Doesn't everyone speak werewolf? I'm not a savage, you know. I didn't ask you, ask for brains. She, and I use that term loosely, considering, you know, the fur, says her name is Rhea. He's kind of an arsehole, but he's not a threat. Looks like he was tracking down the corruptions too, but got lost in there. Pardon me. He says he came to help us navigate this place, because... Get this. This arsehole says we're going to get lost without her. Well, that was fun, but I've still got the itch. You know, the itch to keep killing corruptions. If there's more in your future, I'd like to help you murder them. It's over. It's finally over. Thank you. Thank you so much. Who are you supposed to be? I am, I was, a student here at the college. When the corruption started to spread, I ran and hid, tried to find a way out, but there were too many of them. Did anyone else make it? So there could still be others? I, I should stay here then, at the college, rebuild what I can, in case more survivors turn up. You're doing the druids a great service. Good luck. <laughs>